like a a large insect sort of running around inside of it. Ah. Oven or uh, there's nothing in the oven, or it's just like a pile of wooden, or there's like a pile of uh, iron, cast iron cookware, above like a sort of like a fire pit with a chimney going up. So it's more like a stove with a like a fireplace underneath. Mm. Uh, there's really nothing of note other than the cast iron cookware. And this is a door? Yep. Does it... I open it. Okay. This room displays the effect of damp and decay more than most. Mold grows in patches on the floor, wall, and ceiling. A large copper cask, split, discolored and empty, stands under the window, and a small heap of crockery shards on the floor beside it. The stairs lead down into what is presumably a cellar. I notify everyone and say you want to go up or down. Cellar or se second floor? Oh. Grelthor is indecisive. Would Grelthor like to go through the door he's standing in front of? Yeah, Grelthor intentionally pulls on the door, although it's a push door. Grelthor breaks the door off its hinges. <laughs> Another door Another knob. <laughs> For the collection. <laughs> two, oh, no. stuffed, two stuffed armchairs stand near the fireplace in this room. The covers of both have been torn and the stuffing pulled out, but the wooden frames are still intact. A broken table lies on the floor near the north wall. Let's see. Huh. Just a broken table and you said a cupboard, right? Uh, as you walk by the hearth of the fireplace, you notice a pile of mouse bones spilling out from under or from it. Someone's got something cooking. Well, this room has nothing of interest. <laughs> I don't know if I'd say that. Ooh. Uh, you, do hear, you do hear a little bit of movement inside the chimney. The girl there shouts into the hallway, who hear magic? <laughs> who hear magic? Who hear magic? Well, uh, is, are, is, are any of us carrying torches? Is it light out? You know, light inside? It's, it's light out, yeah. It's well, daytime currently. If it's dark in the in the fireplace, then I have produced flame. Sure. Let's go look inside. Magic fire, man. Wait, then we all have dark vision? Yeah. But flame's there to spook something. And then I can also, you know, throw it at it if I need to. Okay, so you walk in front of the fireplace? Sure. And you hear a light scream from him. Uh, you ah. hear, like, sort of like a weird movement noise, and then out, just pouring out of the chimney of the fireplace, is a swarm of spiders. <laughs> Roll initiative. <laughs> the magic man makes spiders. Oh, I found out a roll initiative. You're probably gonna have to modify my. No, no, it doesn't specify it. Okay. Right click on token, add a turn. If you're on the if you're on the core, you click on the word initiative and it'll add it for you. Yeah, mine shouldn't be zero. Modified. How did I get mine to work then? It worked this time, didn't work last time. Everything's gone fucky. CZ, why do you have a Pope kissing a baby? <laughs> We what? don't talk about that. <laughs> what the fuck? And it's not even a kiss. Why is he sucking the soul out of the baby? In other words, before you roll initiative, click on your token. It'll roll it to the. It'll add it to the turn order. Ten point fourteen, you say? 
Cool. <laughs> Ten four four. The dot one four is based for decks. For tiebreakers. Oh yeah. So Oh fuck the hell. Hold on. There we go. Whatever I'll do. Layer token. There you go, guys. God. That's a swarm of spiders. Just remember, don't burn the house down. The damp house. Right. right. Mm. The, in the fireplace. Don't threaten <laughs> girl Thor with a good time. Uh, did you want me to have produce flame results in the chat for you? I mean, it doesn't really do anything, does it? And it can be used as an attack. Okay. Uh, yeah, drop that in the chat room. Be there. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's going to. If they ever get involved in battle, I have them ready. All right, so Sven, it is your turn. Well, first reaction would probably be check the fire at him that I have in my hand. Okay, go for it. So let's see. Roll your ranged spell attack, please. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out where that is. It is 1d20 plus your spellcasting modifier. And then if it was out of your 30-foot range, you'd have disadvantage. Jeez. Does that you... have any AOE? Never mind. No, it doesn't. So, you just, you're so scared by this pouring out swarm of spiders that you just like, <laughs> but the flame misses and hits the side of the hearth of the fireplace and dissipates. Grelthor. Or is that the end of your turn? Well, the next reaction, if I missed, would be to run, step into the room. Okay, you can. Them. They can run away, yeah. <laughs> well, at least there. Let's see. You should you should be able to move through Grelthor if you needed to. There's that's still part of the room. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right, Grelthor. Attack, right. Okay, so Grail Thor moves up to the spiders, right? Mm-hmm. And he just flips his bar stool upside down and starts smashing it against the floor. All right, <laughs> roll. Attempt to crush the spiders. All right, roll for attack. That is a hit. All right. They're tiny. You you smash a good number of spiders, but there are still even more spiders pouring out of the fireplace. It's like cutting... <laughs> it's just like a hydra. You can, like smash some spiders and it just keeps growing more spiders. Grilthor has a spider problem. Alright, so the spiders are going to try to attack Grilthor. Damn. Twenty plus. What's your AC? My AC, I think, is thirteen. All right, that's a miss then. Indeed, it is. All right, would Helica and or Wind Talker like to do anything? I try to figure out what the hell's going on. I hear noises. You hear the faint thumping of a, what seems to be a bar stool on, like, well, I'm right outside the, the door. Yeah. 
<laughs> Mal's just literally like hanging outside the door, just watching all this happen. <laughs> is he is he like covered in spiders? Uh, you can see like spider guts sort of spewing underneath him, slamming the bar stool, like limbs and guts of spiders, just sort of like flying across the room. But I can't see any spiders right now. Uh, no, because they they're sort of like pouring out behind okay. the wall and like going toward Grothor. You can definitely tell that there's a swarm of some kind of insect in there, but you can't really tell what. Eh, they got it. <laughs> I don't know if you can see how much damage a swarm can do. I'll move in here. Grothor okay. needs help of another magician. <laughs> Alright, that and would be I, initiative. I, from you. I, I did. Did you? Right oh. Here. Yeah, I got 12. Okay. I literally did not see that. I'm sorry. I'll put it's you okay. up there. Alright, your turn. Um. Hmm. Choo choo. I'm going to firebolt the storm okay. spiders. Roll for tax. That is a hit. Roll for damage. So, Helica and just, or Mal, and just sort of like firebolt and just hits one specific spider and that it just explodes. <laughs> it doesn't there, seem to harm are there any, any unattended flammable objects. Uh, not really, because they're pouring out of a fireplace. Uh, Damn it. Grelthor is sort of standing amongst moist, stuffed armchairs that have the stuffing sort of like ripped out of it, but other than that, it's really the only other flammable is thing in this room. Is the wood dry? Uh, yes, but it would take a significant amount of energy for the wood to start on fire. Damn it, okay. I'm done then. Right. Sven. Grothor needs a third magician. <laughs> <laughs> Grothor needs sword magician. <laughs> sword magician. <laughs> what, you expect me to cut one single one at a time? Yes. I'll just get my repair and make some uh, skewered spiders. Alright. I'm going to pause this game real quick. I really need some water. Alright. I'll be right back. Okay. Just like two seconds. All right, magician, magician, what's the playbook? <laughs> I have produced fire cantrip. I have burning hands. There's a lot of fire going around, but I think the I'm a fire sub race. Ours <laughs> seems to be working just fine. Uh, yeah, that's probably better than anything I have. <laughs> you know, I have a scimitar or I have a club because I used all my. First level, my two first level spell slots. You know, healing hands twice, or healing word twice. Sorry. I wonder if the parts of like the dead spiders count as unattended flammable objects. Uh, I'm gonna say no. Damn it! Sven, your turn. Well, I'd probably try throwing fire at him. See if that's what actually works before I. All right, you'd have to do re or produce flame again, and that would take your entire action. Yeah, it's an action. Yep. And that's all I get then, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'll just do that. Okay, you are now producing flame. There. This is why I don't look under fireplaces. Yep. All right, <laughs> Grelthor, it is your turn. Grelthor. Continues the smashing. The spider crushing seems to be having an effect. That is a hit. You yeah. smash even more spiders. <laughs> uh, so the spiders have sort of stopped pouring out of the fireplace and have been reduced a lot in number. Spider and no more. Uh, there's there's still spiders around, but their number has been drastically reduced. 
All right, Spider's turn. They're gonna try to attack Ralthor, and they're gonna miss horribly. Bring it on, Spider! Be great when swarms miss. <laughs> yeah, you just sort of like dancing around Oops, all the sorry spiders. That's that. <laughs> yeah, right. All right, Mal, it's your turn. I'm going to Firebolt again. All right, go for it. Still having trouble rolling over a ten tonight. Yeah, it happens. That is a hit. Roll for damage, please. Somebody's playing the dice audibly. What are the exclamations? I don't know why. She's using an advanced dice roller. Click in the top left corner. Okay. So, as you cast your firebolt, the spiders that still remain have, like, grouped into one sort of like area, small area, and you aim in the directly in the middle of that area and you splash all the spiders with damage and they've been burned alive. Yes! The spiders are dead. Someone's got something cooking. Grelthor smells it. And Grelthor smells what spiders are cooking. <laughs> the spiders are dead. Good job, everybody. High five. High five. Yay! Yay! Yay for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, Barstool. <laughs> Yay, Barstool. <laughs> now you're gonna check why there's so many spiders there? Fuck no. Girl Thor has Barstool. He'll check. Spider done. Well, spiders are no longer coming from there. Yeah, I'd probably go back. What the hell is there? <laughs> A bigger spider. <laughs> Uh, so I have fly so, flame in my hand now again. He's got his head all up in that fireplace. Looking both, uh, both of you roll perception, please. Percept. Mm -hmm. uh, no. Perception. That was just zero. So, Grawlthor, you find nothing of note inside the chimney, but... Sven, on the outside of the fireplace, there you can see that there is one loose stone. Uh, okay. Removing that stone reveals a secret compartment. Uh, inside that secret compartment is a small wooden box. Okay. Would you like to open the box? What's in the box? Anything special about the box What's other in... than this wooden box? Then sure it's a dick in a box what's in the box inside the box is 30 copper pieces and two small pouches of alchemical powders dang just two generic alchemical powders mm -hmm. yeah, what would you guys like to do next um, girl Thor's getting out of here girl Thor smash under cellar. <laughs> so far, there's been one chimney that we haven't looked at. One fireplace. Which one was that? In the dining hall. I'm already gonna tell you there's nothing in there. Right. Was it in this room? No. It was. Uh, it was in this room. Mm. Okay, well, I'm having a hard time telling which room this room is. This room. <laughs> I have the bound like I have physical boundaries set on the uh, I see that the lighting. So I closed the door again and then no one could get through it. Uh there's nothing in that chimney, by the way. Right. Just, that was the room. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, we're going downstairs before for upstairs? Yep. Alright, well I'm Grelthor's way to die, so he just goes Wait, you're, this you're guarding our bags is what you're saying? Walking. What's everyone's health? Okay, fine. Yeah. Seven of ten. I see all of you are going downstairs. Well, we'll kind of stay as a group if possible. Yeah. Don't I'm Grelthor's way down the staircase through that kitchen way. Stronger uh, numbers! You, you went ahead and grabbed the doorknob and just kept walking. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> it's gonna be a bad you habit later. Have it. <laughs> 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 I 
This is a bad flaw. <laughs> now he 